Good day everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to do text wrapping in Google Docs. This tutorial should be a very straightforward one, quick, and really easy to follow, so anyone should be able to do this if you watch carefully. Now, do not worry if you're not familiar with the whole interface of Google Docs, you're a beginner, or even a first-timer in using the software, as I will be here to guide you and show you the step-by-step -step process on how you can do text wrapping. Also, before proceeding with anything else, please make sure that the Google Chrome you are using is currently up to date. This is so that we can avoid any unexpected errors that we may encounter along the way. Now, let us get started. As you can see in my Google Docs file, I have a sample paragraph right over here and an image right over here. Now, as of the moment, I can not drag my image to anywhere on where I want it to be here in my Google Docs file. As you can see, if I try to move it, it will just not work even if I click and drag. Now, how can we move it or even wrap the text in it? It's actually quite simple. All we have to do is to navigate our cursor to the image in which we would like to do a text wrapping to. Click on it once using the left click on our mouse. And as you can see, on the bottom part of our screen, it depends on where it could be located. It could be located on the top or at the bottom. In my case, it is located on the bottom of the image. As you can see right here, we have different image options, but for the text wrapping options, it gives us five different of options that we can choose from. Here we have wrap text, break text, in front of text, and behind text. Now, this could be very useful, especially if you're writing a or an academic text, such as a research paper or even a thesis paper. Let's try the wrap text. As I select the wrap text option, as you can see, I can now drag my image anywhere in the document. And if I place it um, here in the middle of the paragraph, it will wrap the text around it like so. We can also choose break text in which it will create a page break wherever we place the image, just like so or behind text which as what it it as what it states it will put the image behind the text or in front of text which will cover all the text in which you will place the image to as simple as that we can navigate our image to wherever we want on the paragraph with different wrapping options as simple as that we can now do text wrapping in google docs if you learned something in this video please consider subscribing and dropping a like. From here, I'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching.